We're going to finish our discussion on reactivity by taking a look at how certain metals react with water and tie that back into the conversation about acids and bases. Now, when you take any group one metal and place it in water, you get a vigorous reaction. Anything from lithium, which will buzz around on top and react so quickly that it won't even sink to the bottom. It generates hydrogen gas so quickly according to this reaction. Lithium plus water gives lithium hydroxide plus H2 gas. The lithium hydroxide is a strong base. So by placing a group one metal in water, that's one way of generating strong bases. Uh, as you move down, the reactions become more violent, more vigorous, all the way down to cesium, which when you drop a pellet of cesium in water, it explodes. That's not really a safe one. There's probably better ways to make strong bases than using uh, something that will blow up in water. Group 2 metals. The group 2 metals are less reactive, but still reactive. Nonetheless, beryllium at the top, highest up, is the least reactive of the group 2 metals, the same way lithium um, supposedly at least has the least violent reaction in water. Beryllium will not react, has no reaction, with cold water or steam, even at red heat. So it doesn't matter what you do when you place beryllium in water, when you subject beryllium to steam, even at red hot temperatures, in the mid to high hundreds, uh, you get no reaction. <clears throat> Magnesium, one element below it, has only a slight reaction with cold water, but if you expose magnesium to steam, it will burn. It'll ignite to produce white magnesium oxide, the same as it would if you exposed it to an open flame. Formula here, magnesium solid uh, in water vapor would give you magnesium oxide, this is plus two, minus two, and again, H2 gas. In this case, this doesn't really have acid-base implications. Uh, magnesium oxide is neither an acid nor a base. And then finally, we have calcium, strontium, barium below magnesium. These guys are more active. They'll react even in cold water. All of these guys react in cold water. Each one, as you move down the group, will react more vigorously. Once again, the same idea. If X represents either of these three, you have a single replacement reaction with water, uh, and you generate X, and it's going to be OH2 because each of those has a plus 2 oxidation number, and once again, hydrogen gas. This guy here brings us back to our conversation on acids and bases because of those guys calcium, strontium, and barium, paired with hydroxide ion, make uh, the remainder of our strong bases.